So good afternoon, everybody. I'm Agnes Hadakai. I'm here with the American Indian Research Center for Health, and today we're going to be making a creosote sap. So creosote, also called chaparral, it's the stems and leaves of the bush are covered with a sticky resin that screens leaves against ultraviolet radiation, reduces water loss, and poisons or repels most herbivores. So chaparral or creosote is antibacterial antifungal and anti-inflammatory, and it promotes the healing of minor wounds, scrapes, cuts, and skin issues. And here in the Sonoran Desert, chaparral, also called creosote, also called shugi, by the Tana Atam community, has been used in traditional medicines here for a, quite a long time, and it's a very useful salve to use on everyday skin conditions, such as psoriasis, eczema, minor cuts and scrapes, and it's a very useful tool to have in your herbal toolkit or herbal gathering bag. So let's make some creosote salve. So what you'll need is you will need uh, about a cup of dry creosote. And the dry creosote will be placed in a mason jar with about 1.5 cups of olive oil. And you leave this for about four to six weeks in a sunny location so it can infuse. So basically you are using dry creosote in an olive oil infusion. And so over the next four to six weeks, all the good properties of the creosote will be infused in the oil. And so you see this one, how the olive oil is darkened. Um, these are all the nice properties of the creosote that's, that's now usable after four to six weeks. Now what you do is since this is very liquidy, you need to make it a little more solid. So what you're going to do is you're going to add in some beeswax pellets. And these are very hard pellets that are used in cosmetics, in lip balm, in lotions. Be sure to utilize cosmetic grade beeswax pellets. And this one is from natural grocers because there are beeswax pellets out there are used only for candle making. Do not use this, that one. Use this one that's used for cosmetics. And so what it will look like, it'll look like little pellets. And so what you're going to be doing is you are going to melt these pellets. You put it in a container, put it over some heat, and you'll be melting the beeswax. So you want to make sure to stir it so it doesn't stick or burn. And she, you should be using close to a low or medium heat in order to melt the pellets. And again, when the pellets do cool down, they'll solidify. But when you put in your infusion of olive oil and creosote, it'll fuse in with the olive oil and creosote. As you can see, it's melting. Keep stirring. Okay. And so once it is melted, you are going to add in a cup of your creosote infused olive oil. So you are going to shake the jar, open it up, and you are going to pour it out and using a strainer to prevent all the extra leaves from going in there, you strain it out and you pour, make sure you have about a cup of the infusion. Okay. And it's okay if you have some leaves in there, it's not going to impact anything. Just as a way to have a, a salve that's pretty pretty clear. So once you have your cup of the infused olive oil and creosote, you add that in to the beeswax and you see how it's already 
mixing in with the beeswax. And again, the beeswax is going to make the infusion solid. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to keep stirring it in order to mix it all together. You can use a spoon or you can uh, use another implement, but you want to just keep stirring until it is thoroughly mixed. This may take a couple of minutes. And if it seems like it's getting too solid pretty soon and not mixed, you're going to put it back on the low heat. And let it continue mixing. Again, you want that smooth, smooth mixture. And as it starts melding together, you can smell the creosote. And for those of you who live in um, the Sonoran Desert area, the smell of creosote is that smell that you get after the monsoons or after rains. You have that nice medicinal smell. That's the creosote. That's the oils coming off of the leaves and making that nice smell. So that's what it's smelling like right now. So that is about as, as clear as we have it. So once you have it all mixed in together, you see only little spots, how it's a nice amber color. So it is fairly warm. And once it starts cooling, it'll solidify. So what we're going to do is we are going to put it in a container. This is a four ounce container that we bought, uh, bought from Amazon. And so what you do is it is pretty hot, so, and this is metal, so remember to keep it in a place where it can cool for several hours, and it will solidify, and then you would have your salve. What you can do is also you can add in a couple of the, the creosote leaves from, from the infusion. That's one more container there. So let's do. So this makes about three four ounce containers of creosote salve. Okay. And we will just let that rest and solidify. And once it's done, it is safe to use on your skin.